are go. Or as my favorite, one of my favorite captains from Star Trek, hit it. If you guys know who that is, let me know. Because uh, every captain from Enterprise, before they went into warp, they had their, their, own, thing. their own thing. Like uh, Picard was engaged. But this is my my favorite song. And he says, hit it. I like it. So hit it. All right. Well, I hope we don't get copyright infringement issues. I don't think so. Okay. so. Anyhow, I'm just, we're just being funny. <laughs> we're being funny. So what we're going to do today is we have this one-tenth scale from Iron Studios of Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian when he walks in and he just whoops on all these dark troopers single-handedly, right? Just devastates all of them. I love this. Probably one of my favorite scenes of a Star Wars uh, episode next to Rogue One. I mean, Rogue One, when Darth Vader walks in, he just starts throwing the rebels everywhere. That was cool, too. Um, so... We're going to put his sidekick, R2-D2. We just got this one in this week. So we're going to unbox it, put him next to this one. It's not part of the scene, but you know, it's like I've said, statues or, or action figures, when you put them together and you set up your diorama or your backdrop or however you put them up in your collection case or room, you know, you it's not a specific scene. It's whatever you want it to be. So you can imagine different things, different scenarios, different situations. Um, so that's totally up to you. That's the beauty of this, of, of this type of collection or collecting. I don't think we're going to take a very long time unboxing, unboxing this one. This is, yeah, this is like the so smallest, this is the smallest I've ever unboxed. It's cute. It's like a little cube. It's smaller than my shoe size. <laughs> so, R2-D2, it's polystone. Um, one-tenth scale. Yeah, one-tenth scale. So, it's probably going to be about five, five inches, five, one-tenth of an inch tall. It's cute. It's hilarious, man. It's like, I don't know, it's funny. All right, so here we go. That's why I didn't cut the tape off or anything beforehand, because, I mean, we got to find something to do, right? For at least five minutes. <laughs> Eight. All right. You know, and, and despite how small the box is, how easy it's probably going to be, still take your time. Show it that TLC. Ooh, that piece of paper was stuck to the tape. Close the knife, don't want to get cut. Oh, wow. The colors are just ridiculous. Check that out. That looks awesome. They even went and they put the little wire in here. That is just so detailed. I love the, the, the work that Iron Studios does on their statues. It's really nice. The dome. Very. That is just so cool. I love it. Arturito. Arturito. So the joke used to be a long time ago that first Mexican in space was Chewy, Chewbacca. But then we never we forgot about Arturito. The first Mexican robot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's the base. There's really not much to the base, but it's from part of the scene where he joins Luke. Very heavy. On the bottom of it, you're going to see, hello. You're gonna see the description, R2-D2. It's really nice. So again, you, uh, and, and it kind of matches with the base from Luke. 
they have the same tone, the same color. So that's really nice. It'll match. But as this one is square, with some angles to it on the side, this is completely round. Maverick! <laughs> there you go. So again, they did, you know, this scene where Luke comes out and the Mandalorian R2-D2 was not on there, but it doesn't mean you can put them side by side. Just to create that imagination of, you know, what happened, what's going on, you know, it's, this, that's the beauty, of, again, that's the beauty of it. You want to flip it around, kind of keep it with that same curvature or, or the same lines on, on the base. You can use the flat end of it. That's nice, I like it. It looks really nice. Iron Studios does an amazing job. They really do. Magnetic. You okay. want to take that out, you don't have to leave it on there. Like you said, they're very com compact. Yeah. So they don't take up a lot of space. Check That's that out. Cool. You can even do that, you know. See how it just changes everything. Luke's protecting R2 or R2's guiding Luke as to where to go next. This is just, you can do so many things with this and, and just let your imagination go, go everywhere, all over the place. Beauty of collecting. It's, um, and with these statues, yeah, there's just so much to it. So, you wanna come check them out? We're gonna have them on display. We have Luke out there on display already. We got a couple of these left. Um, okay. There it is. We'll have R2 on display. These are waitlisted, I believe, already. So if you really were looking to get one to complete a collection you have or wanted to start one, I made it, by the way. <laughs> um, come check us out at Doxy New Collectibles here at uh, Far East El Paso. If you're in West Texas, Las Cruces, Juarez, Chihuahua, come on over, check us out. We'd love to have you here. Uh, if you can't come out, look for us on um, Instagram, docs.unique.collectibles, or online at uh, docsuniquecollectibles.com. And if you have not hit that subscribe channel, what you waiting for? Click it! Every week we're trying to put some new content on there, on unboxing from big statues like the General Grievous to some really nice 110 scale statues. There's always something different. Um, so hopefully... We'll see you here at our shop. Hopefully, we'll keep seeing here. We'll keep seeing you here on uh, on our YouTube channel. Love to hear from you. Put in your comments, and we really appreciate your support. You guys take care. Hopefully, we'll see you soon.